Hey everyone and welcome back to my garage gym where it is quite cold out right now. That's one of the downsides of having a garage gym because it's super hot and sweaty in the summertime and then really cold in the winter. I even took my barbell inside and put it in front of the fireplace just to warm it up because trying to work with those barbells when it's really cold out here starts to hurt your hands. But what we're doing today is showing some new bumper plates I just got. These are both from Rogue. You're looking for bumper plates and you're looking at Rogue stuff. Hopefully this will help you decide which ones you should get. So right here we have the mill spec. This is basically just recycled rubber. It's 45 pound weight right here. And then this one right here is the black training weights they have. It's like steel in the middle and then rubber on the outside. This is a 45 as well. So we're gonna put these through a few different tests, comparing prices, weight accuracy, a few different things to help you determine which one is the best deal for you. So first off, let's check the weights. Now, disclaimer here, this is just my scale I use in the bathroom. It's not special calibrated, anything like that. First, one of these, 44.4. Next one, 44.4. Third one, 43.4. Oops. And number four. Wow, two of them are 43.4. So we have two of those were 0.6 pounds light and then the other two were 1.6. So now let's test these ones. 45. Other one. 45.2. So for weight accuracy, these ones definitely went out. We have 45 and 45.2. It's better to be right on or a little over than too light. These ones were anywhere from half a pound to one and a half pounds lighter than advertised. So if you want the most accurate weights, definitely go with these ones. Or else, uh, you know, your 135, you think your bench pressing may actually be more like 133. It'll be weaker than you think. So as far as price is concerned, these recycled rubber mill spec ones, $160 for a pair of 45s. Whereas the black training weights, these are $280 for a set of two. So pretty big price difference there. Those are 75% more. If the weight accuracy is that important for you, then definitely go with those. But otherwise, you can get a lot more of these recycled rubber weights for a lot less. So next up, we're gonna check how much they bounce. Cause the whole reason I want bumper plates is cause when I'm doing deadlifts, when I'm dropping it down to the ground, I use straps when I'm really heavy weight. And when I'm using like those weights over there, my steel ones with just the rubber coating, it is very jarring when it hits the ground. So I want some bounce in it. If you look at Rogue's website, they have ratings for how much they bounce more or less. And so with the black training weights here, they have a higher rating of 94, which means there is less bounce in them. Whereas the mill spec ones have a rating of 80, meaning there's a lot more bounce in them. So we're gonna try out some deadlifts here with each of them and see how it feels. So as you can probably tell from that video, these ones, it's recycled rubber, it's all rubber. Definitely have more balance, a lot quieter, softer, whereas these, they weren't jarring like my other weights, but you could definitely hear them a lot louder. I didn't feel any jarring, so that was fine. Less bounce, so either one of them is good in all reality, just depends on what you prefer. I do like these being quieter. So just as far as style, when you get to that, obviously this thing looks pretty cool. It's got this chrome part here on the other side. You got all these bolts there. You got the black on blue. You got all the other colors. There's red, yellow, and green, I think, as well for other weights if you got the entire set. Whereas this, it's just a big black weight. So if you like the style, maybe this is good to go for. But at the same time, these are really wide and just look really cool. When you're bench pressing, when you're deadlifting, squatting, anything, it just makes it look heavier. And you know, a lot of weightlifting psychologically just feel cool lifting heavy weights sometimes. So another reason to get that there. But overall, I have to say, in general, I like these ones better. So you might ask, well, why did you get this one here. Well, I just hit 400 on my deadlift last month. My goal was the next hit 500, and I was getting to order some more of these, but then I thought, you know what? I should make sure all these will fit on my bar. And I can actually only fit four of these before it fills up the whole bar, because these are three inches wide, whereas these are only a little over two. I think it's 2.15 inches. So I can get two of these, two of these, 
and then throw on my uh, 45 over there that's thin for the max because in all reality I'm not going to be repping out 500 pounds. I'm just going to do one and drop it so the whole jarring in between reps isn't a big deal there. So that's why I got these ones, but overall, just for the fact that these are cheaper, they're quieter, I think they look cooler. The accuracy isn't as good, that's a downside, but a couple pounds, you know, it's really not that big a deal. I would definitely go with these ones, and it looks cool when you have four of them lined up on the bar as well, just like I was saying. The coolness factor. But that is about it for the review of the weights here. Let me know which kind you're more interested in the comments and uh, what you think of Rogue. I know they're more expensive, but they do make good quality products. I like the deadlift bar I got from them. This whole rack and most of my dumbbells are rogue and I've been really happy with the quality of everything I've had so far. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Like, subscribe, I've got at Camber Fitness on Instagram with lots of stuff I post there almost every day. If you want, you can watch me do some more deadlifts. I'm going up to three, uh, 335 today. And that's another reason I wanted to get some of these rubber weights because I'm starting to rep over 315 now. So I wanted some more good bouncy weights for that. And I also got 10 pounders of this same rubber version for my son because he wanted to start trying. So we're gonna test that out later. I'll show you a few clips of that. Straight up. Straight up. Now, summit tight, straight back down.